Hey everyone, this lesson is on medical terminology, the basics lesson one, practice problems set two. So because of the popularity of the medical terminology, the basics lessons, I'm going to do another set of practice problems. So the first practice problem we're going to look at is the word splenomegaly. So remember, break it down into prefix and suffix. So the prefix spleno, spleno means spleen. And then the other part, megaly, megaly means enlarged or large or enlargement. So when we put this together, splenomegaly means an enlarged spleen. That is what splenomegaly is. So the next practice problem is melanocyte. So try this and see if you can get this. So yeah, so if you were break this down again, the prefix melano, melano means black, the color black. And the suffix site, site means cell. So when we put this together, it actually means a black cell, but it's actually a cell that produces the pigment melanin. So melanocyte is a cell that produces melanin. The next practice problem is hematology. So try to break this word down. So hemato, the prefix hemato, means blood. And ology, ology means study of. So when we put this together, hematology means the study of the blood. So it's a field of medicine where blood is studied and blood diseases are treated. The next practice problem is cholecystitis. So try breaking this word down. So again, we look at the prefix cholecyst. Cholecyst means the gallbladder and the suffix itis. Itis means inflammation. So cholecystitis is an inflammation of the gallbladder. That is what cholecystitis means. The next practice problem is microphobia. So again, we break it down. The prefix micro, so you can think of words like microscopic. Micro means small, and oftentimes it refers to things that are invisible to the naked eye. And then the suffix phobia, phobia means fear of. So microphobia is a fear of small objects. That is what microphobia is. And then the next practice problem is myoma. So we break this down again. My, my refers to muscles. And oma, oma refers to a tumor. So myoma, when we put it together, it is a tumor of a muscle. So myoma, tumor of a muscle. The next practice problem is skeletal. So the word skeletal. So we break this word down again. So oftentimes many Many might know what this means, but we'll break it down for practice. So skelet means skeleton, and the suffix o really means pertaining to. So skeletal really means pertaining to the skeleton. The next word we're going to look at is normocytic. So again, we break that word down. Normo, you can think of words like normal, and that's exactly what that means. Normo means normal. Sight. So we've heard this or we've seen this suffix before. This means cell. And ick, the suffix ick means pertaining to. So normocytic, when we put all of these pieces together, it means pertaining to normal sized cells. So we can think of conditions like normocytic anemia, an anemia where the cells are normal in size. The next practice problem is nephropathy. So we break this word down. The prefix nephro, nephro means kidney. So you can think of words like nephrologist. And the suffix pathy, pathy means disease or disease of. And when we put this together, nephropathy means a disease of the kidney. The next practice problem we're going to look at is the word cyanosis. So we break this word down again. The prefix cyan or cyano means blue, the color blue. And suffix osis means abnormal condition. So when we put this together, it really means an abnormal condition of blue, but an abnormal condition of appearing blue. And this is actually tissue hypoxia. This is what happens. So cyanosis, again, abnormal condition of appearing blue. The next practice problem is pneumonia. So many have probably heard this word before, but we'll break it down for practice. Pneumon or pneumo means lung or air. Ia means abnormal condition. So really, pneumonia literally means an abnormal condition of the lung. And another practice problem is epidermis. So we break that word down again, epi. Epi means around, so you can think of epicenter. Derm or dermis 
refers to the dermis and the skin, and it can often mean the skin itself. So epidermis, you can think of it as around the skin, but it's actually the top layer of the skin. So we can think of it on your arm, it's around the dermis, but it really means the top layer of skin. Another practice problem is the word pericardial. So we break this word down again. The prefix peri means around. So again, similar to epi, but peri also means around. So perimeter, you can think of words like perimeter. The prefix card means heart. You can think of cardiac. And eel means pertaining to. So pericardial, when we put this together, it means pertaining to around the heart. So something that is around the heart. So you can think of pericardial effusion, fluid around the heart. The next word we're going to look at is cephalgia. So we break this word down. Ceph or cephalo means the head. And although we didn't talk about this suffix in the basics lesson one, elgia means abnormal condition of pain. You can look at this suffix here, ia. We talked about ia being abnormal condition. Elja itself really means abnormal condition of pain. So when we put this together, cephalgia is an abnormal condition of pain of the head, which is a headache. So cephalgia is a headache. And the next practice problem is hypothyroidism. So again, we break the word down into pieces. Prefix hypo means below or less. Thyroid means thyroid. And the suffix ism means state of. So when we put this together, hypothyroidism means a state of low thyroid functioning. The next practice problem is polyneuropathy. So again, we break it down into pieces. The first piece is the prefix poly, which means many. Neuro, neuro means nerve. And we've seen this suffix before, pathy. Pathy means disease or disease of. So polyneuropathy literally means a disease of many nerves. The next term is hemolytic. So we break it down. Hemo means blood. So we've seen another prefix, hemato, which also means blood, but this means blood as well. Hemo means blood. And then the suffix lytic, lytic means destruction. And when we put this together, hemolytic means a destruction of blood and specifically a destruction of red blood cells. Another practice problem is arteriovenous malformation. So we'll break this down into pieces. Arterio refers to arteries. Venous, vein or venous refers to veins. And we can further break this second word down. The prefix mal means bad. And formation literally means formation. So it's a bad formation of arteries and veins. So it is a malformation of arteries and veins. So that is what arteriovenous malformation is on a basic level. And the, the next practice problem is neoplasm. So we break it down. Neo means new. And plasm means growth. So we put it together. It means new growth. Neoplasm means new growth. The next term is juxtarenal. So the prefix juxta, juxta means next to or adjacent. And the suffix renal refers to the kidney or kidneys. So the term juxtarenal means adjacent to the kidneys. And the last practice problem is dystrophy. So we break this word down. Dys means abnormal or some problem. And the suffix trophy, trophy means growth. And oftentimes it is a cellular growth. So it's not growth in number, but growth in size. So dystrophy, when we put that together, means an abnormal cell growth. So dystrophy means abnormal cell growth. So I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking the notification bell to help support the channel and stay up to date on future lessons. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.